Ventricular megaly is when the fluid-filled structures in the fetal brain, which are called the lateral ventricles, are too large. And in particular, we use the term ventriculate megaly when they measure at least 10 millimeters in size. When ventricular megaly is identified by your physician, um, several things will happen. Um, they will want to perform um, a detailed ultrasound to see if they can identify the cause of the ventricular megaly and to see if there are any other abnormalities that they may find um, in your fetus that has implications both for what may be the cause of the ventricular megaly and what it may mean for the prognosis of the pregnancy. In addition, your physician will uh, most likely um, ask you to undergo genetic testing, like an amniocentesis, to determine the genetic makeup of your fetus, because a small number of fetuses with ventricular megaly have genetic abnormalities that can be detected on amniocentesis. They may also ask you to undergo testing for a congenital infection, since that can be a cause of ventricular megaly. A more recent uh, test that we are doing for uh, fetuses who have ventricular megaly that's detected on a routine prenatal ultrasound is fetal MRI. And fetal MRI lets us uh, further evaluate the ventricles in terms of their shape and other features of the ventricular megaly. But just as importantly, it lets us look for additional abnormalities in the fetus's brain, which we may not see with ultrasound. And we know from our experience with fetal MRI that indeed we can see additional findings in many fetuses that have an abnormality that's detected first on ultrasound. Then they come for fetal MRI and we can sometimes see additional abnormalities. And again, that's important because that will give you some information in terms of what may be the cause of the ventricular megaly and what it may mean for the prognosis of the pregnancy. And also, it may give you information about what to expect from future risk in future pregnancies.